Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have this module here. It's a body control module for 2010 uh, Ford Expedition. They change it because the shifter is not working and they make a bypass. You see that wire there? They make a bypass on it. So before we do anything, we need to go on IDS. Be sure you have internet. We're going to diagnose this car completely. <coughs> okay, we're going to diagnose this car first. And then we prepare it for a software um, a computer program swap. It is better to read all the information. At least you have something there. And then from there, it will take you to the next level where you can... Uh, do the programming. First, read the information, read everything, read if there is any codes, and then you can go to the uh, next level of programming or diagnosis. So here, we say Ford Expedition. I checked this car before. This why he say Vehicle Expedition. Is this 2011? 2000. Can you check the VIN number here, the last number? If it is, that means this car was in diagnosis before. We diagnosed this car before. Is that the, the last VIN number is what? 389? No. Hmm? The last VIN number is so this is not the car we needed, so I will close this account here and I will do it again another one. I was doing four expedition before. You can hold the diagnosis for the one that you did it before. But let's go on um, this IDS 128.1. Every time they upgrade it. So now I am going here, try to uh, read the information, ignition is on. It's at the vehicle equipped with the factory installed navigation system. Yes, actually it's not, but uh, I just write down yes, so we're gonna go to the next, May 2010. From here, I will do diagnosis. Now, 415, right? That's the VIN number? Okay, that's good. This car, we have a charging issue here. I left it charging all night. It looked like it didn't catch. Be sure that your charging is not disconnected. If not, it will shut down. So, now I'm gonna go. This is a car, year model. I will click on the toolbox. And then from here, I will do self-test. All cars. Diagnose it first. If you notice here, it gave me a lot of quotes. And uh, the code is not one, two, three, but look here. Those are the codes that I'm getting. And I have a code for catalytic converter pending. I have a code for transmission, transfer case control, uh, plate general, circuit failure, airbag. Okay, I have PRB, left hand power running board, that's the one in the bottom. This is system is not ready. We have a catalytic converter efficiency. It's unexpected ignition state. Okay. Generic electronic module smart junction box. We have quotes here. Driver doll. Air condition control. We have a lot of quotes here. Hold on just. The last one is ABS. Always try to diagnose the car before you do anything. I'm going to leave this one here, I go to programming, click here next, okay, where is this mine? Yeah. Oh my, okay, huh? They're going to pick up the coffee, I was watching. Yeah? Couple, couple. Okay, hold on, no, couple, I don't want to touch that area, I got to stay here. Okay, now, you see here, I'm going to go to programming installation, I got to choose this one here, and then I scrim down, I got to go, I will scrim. Scroll down, go to SGB. If you want to know what it is, here, generic. 
generic electronic module gym or the other one sjb smart junction box both of them are the same num as same name let me show you you see junction smart junction box i want to program that one so i will stay here and i will click on by the way i have to be careful because any touch to this cable i will lose my i will lose the whole computer may shut down it will go by VIN to VIN. Is this a VIN? Say yes. I don't want to touch anything here, any computer here. Everything you have to be as very slow and just be sure that watch this. Don't let it go down while you are programming. After he tell you turn the key off, turn the key on, then you have the chance to um, you have the chance to Check it out with the ignition on, put the new one and then click next and then it will go through the programming. You do, the, after you finish the program, you have to do, uh, okay. You know, you don't need to go away. You, we're almost there. Okay, let me know. I have the inter, okay. It will go through all this information. You say locating necessary file, then check the files, integrity. All this is gonna be done, and then after that, we're gonna take the module out, we put the new one. So stay with us. This one, it take long time, I don't know. Say, locating necessary file, then check the file integrity, please wait. And it take maybe more than two minutes, three minutes. It's supposed to finish diagnose tester network. I am sure I have the best internet there diagnose test is attempting to copy data from the network if you look at here you say maybe it's freeze but if you look at the bottom it try to connect it try to take all the software copy it keep it into the car keep it into the desktop and then from there it will take you to any place you want so please stay with us Also, when you buy, you see here, still going. Now, he asked me service tool obtain data from the original module to prop. The service tool obtain data from the original module to properly configure the replacement module. If the original module was removed prior to uh, start this session, reinstall it and start another session. This makes sure that the application, the applicable the configuration data is transferred to the replacement module. Is the original is the original module is still installed in the car? He asks you that to be sure that the original one is still in the car. Say yes. Now, if the service tool ch can get the data it need from the original module, it is try to obtain automatically from as built data backup system. The service require an internet connection automatically get the data. If the tool is not set up for the internet activity or there is a problem obtaining as build data automatically, you will advise where to get data. You know, like they say that just leave that one. If I if the computer is able to get the configuration from that old one, okay, if it's not, it will get it from online. So I will click next. You say ignition is on, yes. Ignition is off now. Don't touch all this wire, turn the ignition off. Please follow this step correctly. Note, install the new module in a vehicle. When configuration process is complete, two remote key fob may need to be programmed. Before starting the configuration, verify that you have two remote. Be sure that you have two remote control on this car. Two remote, I have one here. And, and I have another one there. Hopefully they are good. Thank you, stay with us please. Now I'm going to install it and then uh, click next. So I'm going to install the module. By the way, this is the old one. That's the new one. The old one, you have to take the new one and put the old one back. Also, don't forget uh, to have uh, the numbers. You see that this is for the door numbers. It's coming with the new one.
made a fucking Anything empty? Be sure that whatever is missing. I don't believe there's anything missing. <laughs> you believe it? Use this for different color. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got. Okay, he put. We put the old one. I right, then you want that the old one. Now, before it's starting, I did everything. Now turn the ignition on. You see now the security. I believe he may go off. I'm not sure. Ignition is on. I'm gonna click next. Tool is gathering major data. Take this off. Be sure your your you, nobody touch your laptop because tool is gathering major data. Just be be patient and follow the step. I make this one long video just to follow the follow up the step by step. I don't know what he's gonna say after that. I'm waiting. Oh, he said that module are about to program multiple, multiple places. Now, he's programming the the module programming start. Please wait. Wow, that's beautiful. To a thirty second. Okay, you're gonna configure it. The surface will begin immediately when configure when the confirm button is selected. After selecting the confirm, wait for 30 seconds for next session to appear. Okay. Nothing will happen now. You have to wait at least 30 seconds. So don't try to say why it freeze, why it doesn't work. No. You need at least 30 seconds. And also if you notice there, because of the configuration, you see, the light will start blinking. Next screen will take a little bit of time. You say note, the interior lamp may not be flashing or the interior light may now be flashing on and off. This normal and indicate further action are required to complete the program. If the vehicle equipped with a tire pressure monitor system perform the tire pressure test. Okay, the test function of the remote or integrated transmitter, if they do not function properly, program them into the module. Rotate the dimmer switch from off to on, from off to on and to full panel brightness. Okay, this one here. On. Okay, now we're gonna go do the rest. Return to main menu, select gym. Carry out on demand test, fix all regular, clear the code. Okay. Everything is done here. Gotta go to tools, body, electrical, or train. No, self test. Self test. Body. Modules, gym, see if there's any code.
this we're going to test everything the seat belt wipers and if anything that you see like the wipers motor headlights everything the car will do the test but what we are going to do is okay see here we have a couple of things this is driver door ajar hood switch because they are not closed okay there is two continuous memory I don't know what that means Module configuration is not yet done Left front tire pressure Tire pressure is not read Also we need to do the tire pressure And we need to do the keys and remote So let me try to go here And see if we can program the remote Let me see if I can start the car the Car is start which is good news This is working. This is not working. Does it start the car? Let me see. Start the car. So let me see if I can program one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let me close this door. Now, one is not working. One. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. This this remote this remote doesn't work. That's why we have a problem. Security light will stay on or maybe it's going to be okay. I am not sure. We're going to need to do the tire pressure monitors. Let me start it now. Configuration must be finished. If not, the light will still blinking. Let me push the shifter. It's working now. See? But this one is still blinking. You have to program two remotes. And also you have to... Uh, do the tire pressure monitors thank you for watching please subscribe share and like this is Muhammad Harun Idris see you in another video and thank you for watching thank you